Hey YouTube, um, what is up? It's been a little bit, um, it's kind of hard to do videos, um, but enough apologizing. Um, let's just kind of get to the nitty gritty. First, look at my hair. It's growing so much. It's almost been a year since chemo, so I'm super thrilled. So those of you who are bald and you're concerned and it's falling out, it will grow back, I promise. Um, and if you want to borrow one of my wigs, I will let you borrow one of them. Um, so what I wanted to tackle today was mental health. Funny story, I have a dog named Luna. Um, she's a crazy husky. And um, I brought her back from the shelter and her paperwork said that she had a lot of um, things going on with her last owners. I would love to give them a piece of my mind, um, but she started having panic attacks and they're getting better, but she's still having, you know, one panic attack a day, um, which looks like zooming and freaking out and you know, it just, outside of, I grew up with a husky, so it's not normal husky behavior. She's just, you know, struggling. Um, so I took her to the vet, and we are going to put her on Prozac. And I kind of looked at the dog and kind of cracked up to Luna and said, wow, we're both going to be on antidepressants. Um, and sometimes mental health is a taboo topic. Um, I remember during the summer, after everything that happened, um, with having the baby and surgery and chemotherapy and being bald, I was really struggling just going through a lot. Um, and sometimes talking about mental health is such a taboo thing. And even for me personally, I didn't want to feel, you know, that, that shaming or weakness that maybe I needed help. Um, so my oncologist already had me on Effexor, which was helping with the hot flashes, but it took me a little bit to realize that, you know, it's not just the hot flashes that I need it for. Um, I really needed it for that post-chemo depression, postpartum depression, just all like intermingled together and not working and just easing back into regular life. Um, so what's funny is now my dog is on Prozac, I'm on Effexor, and we're just two hot messes together, which is kind of why, you know, my brother always said that she's my weak spot, and she is. I make so many excuses for her. Um, I don't know that anybody else, um, even my husband, gets that many excuses, um, but I make so many excuses for my dog. Um, but there's something to be said about mental health, especially post-cancer, post-chemo, because you do have those moments where you're going to get your blood drawn or um, you just go into some kind of clinic. I dropped off some bags uh, through TL45, um, which you can check out on my blog. But I dropped some off and just the smell of alcohol wipes remind me reminded me of chemo and I felt like I had to be plugged up again so sometimes I have those flashbacks um the other night I had a nightmare that I was going to go back through cancer treatment and woke up crying my eyeballs out and um, so even though I'm almost a year out I mean those things are still happening um and I mean it's one of those things where I admit you know I need to be on that effects or outside of the hot flashes which was caused by um post-surgery and menopause, since I don't have any parts left, I really need it just to be emotionally stable um, and also just to be the best me that I can be. And if that means that I'm taking antidepressants, um, then that's what it is. I mean, there's no shame if you need it. I'm not making excuses. Um, I know that I'm a better person. I'm a better mom. I'm a better wife. I'm a better teacher. I'm a better daughter. Um, when I'm on that medicine, and so it just, it's just part of my life now. And so now me and my dog are both on it. And, you know, I've seen a therapist. I've seen, you know, uh, a lady who was trying to help me process everything um, from chemotherapy to just easing back in normal life. Um, and, you know, if that's what I need right now, then that's what I need. Um, so I just want to encourage you guys, don't feel like... Um, it is something to be ashamed of. Um, and so if you need it, you need it. Um, so that's really all I have for you guys. Um, there was some new stuff coming up, so I'm super excited um, to broadcast that. And I'm also going to be um, working with some people from the Life with Cancer Center and getting super involved in some of the new things. So um, I'll catch you guys later. Um, leave me comments below. Subscribe. Uh, follow me on my uh, vlog or blog, um, ovariancancerisnothing.wordpress.com. Um, and I'll see you later. See you guys.